Shalom, shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all the praises and the glory to our highest power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. I would love to give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers in all sincerity, pushing this true gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. And as always and always, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Amen, so be true. I'd like to name this video, We All Need to Be Guided. We all need to be led by holy men. We all need it. Men, women and children, we need guidance. But, you know, this is how it started. It was sometime last night. It could have been early in the morning. I saw this woman an elderly woman and it said something to do about homeless she was a homeless woman and she lived in a car then I clicked on a video to listen to what she was saying then she started to bring out scriptures and goes oh no here we go again here we go again right it's a homeless woman yeah Israelite woman and I'll give her one thing though. I watched about 10 minutes of her video. I give her one thing. She was calling not on JC. She wasn't calling on Jesus Christ. She was calling on Yahweh. At least she was calling on Yahweh. Right? Her arms were exposed. And um, a little bit of her cleavage, just a little bit of her cleavage. And she was exposed, you know. And I said, you know, you know, you women, you just need guidance. You need to be guided. If you are obedient, you know that you shouldn't be, you know, calling scriptures and reading scriptures and teaching. You should not be doing that. So I said, you know, we, we all need guidance. You know, if this woman... And she had, a nice, she had a nice spirit. I'll be honest with you, she had a nice spirit. An elderly woman. woman. She had a nice spirit. All right? And that was that. I watched about, about 20 minutes, 10 minutes of it. 20, 10 minutes, 20, she like it. 10, 20 minutes of her. All right? And I said, boy, you just, you need guidance. All right? You know the point. Then today, to the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yashai, I thought about the, the 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 spirit just came into my mind to say the grave, the grave, the grave. We cannot praise the Heavenly Father in the grave. That's all came to mind, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yashai. We cannot praise the Heavenly Father in the grave. Now is a time to praise Him, seek Him, and praise Him now. That's what it's all about. Ask for repentance. All right? So later on today now, later on, I saw a picture of, this is all spiritual, I saw a picture of that tennis, you know those two sisters, uh, v Venus, um, Venus Williams and What's the other one again? I just had it a second ago. Venus Williams and um, the other sister. I remember in a minute, Lord willing. But not Venus, I'm talking about the other one, Serena Williams. When I saw a picture of her, I said, I'll be damned. The way she looked, the manly features, and she had this big, this blonde, not fully white blonde, like a goldy blonde wig on. And she just did not look right. You know? Did not look right. Her lips looked puffed up. You know? I just don't know what she's doing to her face. 
I just don't know. Anyway, forget about that. So when I was ready to, um, thinking about, you know, doing a video, what to do, I picked up my phone, all right, and I was looking at a couple of scriptures, and lo and behold, this popped up. This picture popped up on my, um, on the feed, in YouTube. And I said, what is this I'm seeing? Just hours ago, I saw um, Serena, Vi Serena Williams. And now, I'm seeing Venus Williams. But apparently, this woman is not Venus Williams. Well, I checked through, I went through the, um, and the reason I put a, a, a screenshot, because I know if I play it live, I know, guarantee I'm going to get a phone call or a text message or something. All right. So I took a screenshot. Would you believe this woman looks identical, as you could see, to Venus Williams? And the, the video is, you could check it out. It says, God took me to hell. You see, this is why we need to have teachers. We all need teachers. God took me to hell. Now, the other elderly woman, at least she called on Yahweh, still not good enough, but at least she wasn't calling on JC. But this woman here now, the lookalike, Venus Williams lookalike, God took me to hell so you don't have to go. It says, repent and turn to, hear the word now, JC. Repent to JC. Okay? Now, she doesn't understand through a lack of knowledge, right? If you watch the video, she's crying. And, and listen to me. We all know that the law can work in mysterious ways. Women get visions too. Women get dreams too. But if they don't know how to interpret it, they should find someone, a holy man of the Lord, to break down her dream. You know, if she's got a, a man of the Lord in her life or something, to break down that dream. All right? Interpret it. But because of lack of understanding and knowledge, she thinks that we and that everybody talks about the hell doctrine. I was once there too, until I was retrained, right? I had to, to learn to put off all the old man and to be be to retrain again. All right. By holy men, men of the Lord, right? Not women. Because women are not supposed to teach. Women are not supposed to teach. So going back again. God. All right. Took me to hell. So you don't have to go. Now, of course, the you know, you have your dreams. The law could put you in a different state of mind. As you know, in deep sleep. And, you know, for you to experience. So you could actually prophesy. Not prophesy. You could actually share the dream. To whoever, all right, to warn people. The Lord works in mysterious ways, okay? But the women have to follow the order. They have to follow the order, all right? And there's nothing wrong if she does a video and says that she had a dream about blah. There's nothing wrong. But once you start to teach and bring out scriptures and verses, then you know that you're not doing the right thing, right? And this is why you have to have people to teach you. You need to be guided, all right. That's why I said. To, that's why I said we all need to be guided by holy men, all right. Even me, I'm still learning. I still need to be guided. There's a lot that I don't know, and there's a lot I need to learn. Okay. So, let's to keep it simple now, right? She said again, God took me to hell. So you don't have to go. No, she doesn't understand that the word hell is just a low condition. And we all feel in hell right now. Every one of us are feeling hell because we are under the curses. We are feeling that hell. All right. Hell just means a low condition. It means the grave. Lord will, I'm going to get that in a minute. Okay. 
but we are all going through hell at the moment. Because, you know, they talk about hell, that burning fire. We are feeling a fire in our flesh. We are feeling that fire. And if we turn to the Lord in sincerity, that fire would still be there, but it would be it will be cooled down slightly, if you know what I'm saying. It will be slightly cooler. But the hell is still there. The hell is still there. Because that's why we have to repent and turn to the Lord. Yahweh and his beloved son, Yahweh Shai. Not JC. Not JC. Let's play a little bit of her testimony. It's about 8 minutes and 35 seconds long. But I'm going to play only about 3 minutes, okay? See, well, all these Christians talk about below the earth, underneath the earth. Yeah, that's where hell is. All right, let's get this before we go any further. All right. <clears throat> let's go to, if you go into the blue letter and type in the word hell, it occurs 54 times in 54 verses, right? In the KJV. So let's use the first one. Let's use the first verse that came up. It says Deuteronomy 32 verse 22. It says, the, For a fire is kindled in my anger and shall burn unto the lowest hell and shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. So, let's go to the word hell. Strong's G. Oh, let's play it then. Oh, we know it's Sha'al. Strong's H, 7585. Sha'ol, Sha'ol. And second entry, Sha'ol. Sheol. Okay, it says, the first one says, no, it says, grave, all right, hell, pit, yeah? When you go down to the pit, you're in hell, okay? We are living in a pit right now. We are living under hell, okay? Look at this now. Sheol, underworld, grave, hell, pit, right? It doesn't say nothing about no fire. And then as she was speaking about this burning and, and stuff like that, yeah? So, you know, it's funny in the spirit. As I read down again, it says, Hell and shall consume the earth. Same Deuteronomy 32, verse 22. Hell and shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundations now if you see the the um the um the strong g for that word foundations it is h4144 right the foundations is of the mountains and that was so, that was that was also another spiritual sign you know so let's go back to what she was saying yeah so it's all it is is, is, is the um is the is the grave? Let me bring this this one. Isaiah thirty eight verse eighteen. 
to 20. It says, For the grave cannot praise thee. The grave. Because that's when you go into the pit. You're into the grave. Right? There's no, there's no fire in the grave. For grave cannot praise thee. Death cannot celebrate thee. You see, when you're dead, okay, the spirit never dies, but when your flesh dies, you go to the grave. All right? That is what is hell. That's what hell is. And we also know that hell is a, is a condition that we're going through. As we're living right now, we are going through hell. We are feeling that fire. They that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. Yeah, this is why we have to turn to the Lord now. Okay, she, this, the sister had a dream and she's warning people. All right? But it's just the lack of knowledge. Because it goes deeper. Because this, it boils right back down to this, the, 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 the hour of temptation. The mark of the beast, the RFID chip. The living, the living, he shall praise thee. This is what it's about. As I do this day, the father to the children shall make known thy truth. This is what it's all about. Praising, glorifying our heavenly father whilst we are, have breath in our bodies. Right? This is what it's about. And to warn the people what is to come. Jacob's trouble. And you see, you have to be taught. You have to be taught by holy men of the Lord that teach the correct doctrine. This right leads right back to our apostles. Elder Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Gabar, Elder Apostle Rakar, Elder Apostle Ramlav, and all the brothers come down, down the umbrella. Okay? Verse 20, The Lord was ready to save me. Therefore, we will sing my, pray, my songs to the stringed instruments all the days of our life in the house of the Lord. This is what it's all about. Seeking the Lord, begging the Lord for forgiveness, repenting, yeah? But these women and men also that has not actually got the real guidance and the teaching, they need to, that's what they need to go through, the real teaching. Right? So should I go back to what she's saying now? Let's go back to what she's saying. But she said one thing though. So if somebody interpreted the dream, her dream, they would exactly, there's something, I'm going to play it now. Some point. And I immediately knew I was in hell. Even though I had not physically entered your ship, I knew where the angel of the Lord was taking me was to hell. And not because I had did anything wrong. You're in, you're in hell now, sister. You are in hell now. And this is why we need you, how shy. Okay? I went into this. Dark, dark tunnel. The tunnel was so dark. Man, if you see this woman, man, she looks exactly like um, Venus Williams. You know, sometimes thinking if it's her. Do you know what I mean? Because this is a double of Venus Williams. And it's funny again because she's got the tennis hat on, you know, the sports hat on. I can feel the heat. It was so hot. I can smell it. It smells so bad. And it's true because that death, when that death is starting to, when the Lord returns, it's going to be a sweet savor to our Heavenly Father. All right? Through the tunnel that led me 
wanted to heal. And I wanted to wake up, but I couldn't. I couldn't because I wasn't in control. Because this wasn't a dream. This wasn't a vision. I was there. It's so much different when you're there. You can't just wake up. It don't end. It was so hot, y'all. I was sweating. It was so hot. That's all I can remember. I remember exactly how it felt. It was so hot. And the angel was taking me through this tunnel that led to hell. I wasn't even there yet, but it was so hot. He didn't allow me to go all the way in to see anything. But he took me to this area was filled with the Listen, this is this part now. She listen. Those tin cans that carry gasoline and oil. It was so much oil. It was so much gasoline. That's spiritual because you know now. That fire, because we know that in one hour, the Lord is going, that is the hell. In one hour, Babylon is going to be burnt. Okay, in one hour, destruction, in one hour. And what's going to cause that? It's going to be a combination of the holy angels, the hosts, the holy angels returning, right? With Yahweh Shai, the archangel, okay? The, the so-called UFOs, the chariots of the Lord, coupled with the nuclear missiles. And she said about the, the tin cans of filled with gasoline and um, what she said, gasoline is something else, right? And oil. And what's going to propel? What's going to... These, these missiles is going to be sent out it's for fuel. It's going to be the fuel, isn't it? Right? So those are the tin cans. What she's saying, basically, it was like tin tin cans filled with oil and gasoline. And that is, that, that is, that is a spiritual part of it, too. So she's right there. It was a limited supply of it in hell. Mm. I didn't see nothing else. He took us out. Unlimited supply. Wow. And this is all the work of the Heavenly Father, you know. After I saw all the oil that was in hell, I didn't get to see no, nothing else, at least not yet, because I believe the Lord will take me back. But I didn't see nothing else. But I immediately knew that the Lord was trying to reach a people. He was trying to call people to repentance. The hell is real. I came to tell y'all today, the Lord allowed me to go so you don't have to go. Yeah, but listen, hell is not fire that burns for eternity. Okay? So anyway, this is, so you wanna, if you want to watch it, you can watch it. Um, like I said again, God took me to hell so you don't have to go. Repent to, repent and return to JC. All right? You have to repent and turn to Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Okay? So back to the heading. We all need to be guided. All right? By holy men of the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahushai. You see? So I hope and pray. Forgive me for being all around the place, but I hope and pray. That this is edifying through the spirit of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, right? And I thank the Lord Yahweh Basham Shai for, you know, thinking of that thing today. I was thinking about the grave. We cannot praise the Lord in the grave. We cannot praise the Lord in hell. That is the grave. Okay, in the pit. Right. This is all about, and this is why prophets are on the highways and the byways week in and week out feeding the lost sheep okay because they are fully persuaded that 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 hell there is coming 
is those nuclear missiles. Right? That is the real fire. And it's not going to burn forever. There's so much destruction and death is going to be caused in within that hour. That is the hell that is coming. But what she doesn't realize that it doesn't repenting is one thing she called it on jc repenting is one thing but you have to try to get closer and closer to the lord beg our heavenly father right to know how you're going to get away from this 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 fire now she has to understand that if you take the rfid chip right if you take the rfid chip you are going to be burnt right in the sight of our heavenly father Yahweh Shai and the holy angels that's all it's about yeah right so again again I'm still learning I still need to learn more and we 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 all need to be guided by holy men of the Lord. You see, that's what it boils down to. Not not doing your own thing in terms of, you know, just wake up to be an Israelite and that's it. It goes deeper and deeper than that, yeah? Shalom.